Do I know you? No. No. But you doubted me. I'm sorry, I have to go. No need to leave yet. But I'm late. You are not content with the stories. So I was obliged to come. Be my victim. Be my victim. Boogie Man coming round the band is Boogie Man Ben. This is Boogie Man Ben. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks so much for stopping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I wish this was a happier video that I'm shooting. Um, it's been a really shitty week. Um, and uh, this just <laughs> really puts in perspective of how crappy the year 2024 has been. Um, scrolling through Facebook tonight, saw a post on Fangoria, uh, Fangoria's page on Facebook, saying that one of, that one of my idols, somebody that unfortunately I never got a chance to meet, um, had passed away. And uh, in a year where we've lost David Soul, uh, John Ashton, uh, Charles Cipher, Shelley Duvall, losing another icon um, has just been, this has just been too much. Uh, just, <laughs> I'm waiting for something good to happen this year. Um, but unfortunately, we lost can our Candyman. We lost uh, Tony Todd. Um, and Tony Todd was way more than just the character Candyman, but Candyman was the first movie um, that I really remember seeing him in. Um, of course, before Candyman, I had seen him in movies like Platoon. I believe I saw the remake of Night of the Living Dead, uh, Tom Savini's Night of the Living Dead that came out in 1990 where Tony Todd played the character of Ben. I believe I saw those, I believe I saw that movie before I saw Candyman, but Candyman was uh, a game changer for me. My main draw to see it originally was Virginia Madsen, who I had a huge crush on. I remember renting this. I was about 19 years old, going on 19 years old, so this was in 1993. The movie came out in 1992. I remember reading about it in Fangoria, and then I rented it from the warehouse. I don't know if people remember the warehouse, uh, but that was a place where I would rent movies. And I rented it and took it home and watched it, and it scared the fuck out of me. I was 19 years old again, older, I wasn't a kid, and, you know, there's been movies in my life that I remember, you know, that, that terrified me and eventually became my favorite film, Salem's Lot. My favorite film of all time is one of them. Another one is American Werewolf in London. But Candyman was different because Candyman was in a setting that was real. Um, it was set, you know, in the Cabri Green uh, projects in Chicago and uh, very adult subject matter and just was very haunting and uh, it was unlike any horror film I had ever seen. I remember it scared me so much that immediately after watching it I took it back to the warehouse. I didn't want to watch it again and it would be about a year before I would revisit it. Um, it was on cable television. I remember my mom was out of town and I was home alone watching it. And I remember I had to turn all the lights. I guess I was, almost, I was 20 years old. I remember turning all the lights on in the house to watch it. And I was brave. I just said, I'm going to be brave and watch this film. I don't know what it was about this film. To this day, I still will not say his name five times while looking in a mirror. That's how much it traumatized me. But over the years, I came to adore Tony Todd. I would see him in so many other great films like The Crow or The Rock. Um, the Candyman sequels I enjoyed. I really liked the new one, even though he had a very brief appearance. And the new one that Nia DaCosta did um, in 2021, I had hoped that they would do more of those. But uh, also he was in the Final Destination films. He was in Hatchet 1 and 2. Um, so many things. 24, he was on the series 24. But um, to find out that he passed away has really broken my heart. And in a year I've lost um, icons that really changed my life. This is just another sort of gut punch. And it just makes me sad uh, that so many people that shaped my life, that shaped my love of the craft of acting and horror films and things like that are leaving us. And that's just the way it is. And I know Tony Todd had been sick for a while. Um, he apparently passed away on the 6th of uh, November. So that was Wednesday the 6th. His wife Fatima has confirmed this with JoeBlow.com. 
Um, and uh, he apparently had been suffering for a long time. He had a long illness. And he passed away in his home in Marina del Rey. So, yeah, it's just... As soon as I found out about it, I posted something on Instagram, and it is just so many people have been sharing how much Tony Todd meant to them. You know, he's an icon. He's like Kane Hodder and Robert Englund. I mean, he's he's one of these guys that just, you know, he's been in everything, and we've been following him for years and loved him for decades. And it's just amazing to see how many people really loved him as much as I did. And it really makes me happy. But also it's sad because it's, again, it's it's somebody I didn't get to talk to. And I remember he was supposed to be at a Sinister Creature Con. And it was the one that got canceled in 2019. And I was like, oh, I'm finally going to get to meet him. And they canceled it. And then the next year we were in pandemic land. And he was at the San Francisco Fan Expo last year. My friend John Russell went to it, and I was so pissed off because he was a last-minute addition. I had looked at the, you know, who was going to be there. Didn't really see anybody I wanted to meet or I needed to meet, so I didn't go. And he was there, and I found out after it happened. So again, I just just missed him. I would have loved to have met him and told him how wonderful he was and, and how much of an impact he made on my life. And uh, not only could he play these very scary characters, but there was just a lot of heart in everything he brought uh, to his performances, even the character of uh, Daniel Robitaille. Um, there's a great, um, something I can recommend to people if they haven't watched it, there's a great episode of Adam Green's Scary Sleepover that aired in 2016. It was the first episode of season two, and it was when uh, Tony Todd spent the night at Aeriscope Studios and really opened up about his life, particularly about his, his brother. And it's one of the most heartbreaking things, and it's the first time you see this giant man that has given us all nightmares through the characters that he's played um, really show what an amazing beautiful person he was and if people haven't watched that i definitely recommend it um right now i want to sort of give a little bit of a backstory to um tony todd and um sort of highlight all of the performances and all of the movies that he did and uh, just pay tribute to this wonderful man and after that i'm going to come back with my closing thoughts here we go Tony Todd was best known for playing the character of Candyman in the film series from 1992 to 2021 and William Bloodworth in the Final Destination franchise uh, 2000 to 2025. Todd made his acting debut in the film Platoon and came to attention for playing Kern in the Star Trek series The Next Generation from 1990 to 1991 and Deep Space Nine in 1996. His other films include Night of the Living Dead in 1990, The Crow in 1994, The Rock in 1996, Wishmaster in 1997, Hatchet in 2006, The Man from Earth in 2007, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen in 2009, Frankenstein in 2015, Death House in 2017, and Hellfest in 2018. Todd voiced Darkseid in the DC animated movie Universe from 2015 to 2020, and Venom in the video game Marvel Spider-Man 2 in 2023. Todd was born on December 4th of 1954 in Washington, D.C., the son of Veta Lyons Gaither, and grew up in Hartford, Connecticut, attending local schools, including Hartford Public High School. He is also alums of Artist Collective Incorporated, Todd attended the University of Connecticut and then went on to study theater at the Tony Award winning Eugene O'Neill National Actors Theater Institute and the Trinity Repertory Company in Providence, Rhode Island. Todd's other television appearances include a recurring role on Boston Public and guest appearances on Law and Order, Homicide, Life on the Street, Hercules, The Legendary, Legendary Journey, Xena, Warrior Princess, X Files, Smallville, Psych 24, Charm, Stargate, SG 1, uh, Andromeda, Criminal Minds, 21 Jump Street, and Chuck. It appears that his last film will be uh, Final Destination Bloodlines, the sixth film in the franchise where he is reprising his role as William Bloodworth. So yeah, this has been a shitty year. Um, this has been a shitty week. I've been very, very depressed, but trying to stay optimistic and positive um, it's just been too much this year, uh, personal uh, stuff going on, and uh, there's some good things going on in my life, things that I don't want to reveal right now, 
but um, that's sort of keeping my head above water. But this has been a very trying year. And uh, I'm just very saddened that one of my heroes, uh, another one of my heroes has left us. And Candyman was uh, my introduction to this amazing, brilliant man that's no longer with us, but he gave so many fantastic performances. I can't uh, believe that he's gone. And I wanna send my regards to his family, his friends. May he rest in peace. And if you did have the opportunity to meet him at a con or anything, please uh, share your thoughts down below. I would love to know uh, what he was like in person. I've heard great things about him. Um, I'm really sad that I never got a chance to talk to him and just tell him how much of an impact he made on my life. And uh, yeah, just that's life. But uh wanted to make sure I paid respect to this brilliant, brilliant man that meant so much to me. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, I will be doing some content very soon. Like I said, I've been trying to take a little bit of a break, but this news was just something that made me that made me come back in here to the horror zone to, to talk about it so thank you so much everyone for watching i hope everyone's doing well i'll talk to you again real soon take it easy stay scared as always peace I'll see you soon. Hey, my fellow Fright Fiends. I just want to thank everyone for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I try to drop a video at least once or twice a week. Uh, the Horror Zone is a passion of mine, and it really makes me happy that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always. Peace.